is why we want to get smoke taking a little longer stride because notice here in the trot, he's not tracking up. Okay, so before at the walk, he was over tracking. Okay, so at the trot, he under tracks. Following me? Yep. Okay, so we want to get smoke to take a full stride. Why do we want him to take a full stride? So he's using his back. So he's using his back, right. And when we ask him to go forward, he gets a little discombobulated because he's not used to using you know, his back and taking a full stride. So this is what we're going to do. So when he's really, really good in the bridle, we're going to ask for a little longer stride, like now. Good, that was good. And then we just slow our posting and he comes back. That was good too. Right? Right? And of course, when you go forward and when you go back, he's going to try to bring his head up. Every horse will. <laughs> okay, so then you're going to go more forward. Yep. And then we just slow our posting. So which one was better, the first one or the second one? Probably the first one. Oh, I like the second one. The second one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, and then as we're doing it, we could add another level, which is to try to get them a little more longer in the neck and a little more up at the pole. Okay, which he definitely is not going to want to do. Rhythm, rhythm. This is when you use the whip. And then, every, and then in between our going forwards and coming back, right? So we can go forward. Yeah. Now, see, how I get, see how it gets pissy and mad? Because I'm sure it hurts. But in between our forwards and coming back, which Robert Dover calls the rubber band exercise, we're going to stretch. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to let him stretch, keeping the rhythm. Long neck, nose out. Nose out, we want his nose out, yeah? So nose out, yep, good, good. He's like, oh, that feels so good, right? And this is to erase all the negativity of him saying, oh, that hurts, it pulls. Where you saw he put his ears back, he's like, that hurts, that pulls, right? Yeah. Hurts and pulls when I do it. <laughs> so we give him a total release, and then we're gonna, we're gonna gather him up, and then we're gonna ask him to do it again. But we're gonna think long neck, nose out, little longer stride, good. Right, cause see what, yeah, that's okay. Right, good, and then, right. So we expect him to get uncomfortable, right? So this is why we gradually try to ask for a little bigger stride, gradually. We just don't go bigger and expect him to keep it, you understand? We ask in little pieces because we don't want him to be cranky and uncomfortable. So we'll go ahead and we'll let him stretch again. I mean, who the hell wants to be hurting when they're exercising? And then, we'll, and then we're gonna allow him to W-A-L-K. Easy, good.